Hello everyone, my name is SN Patil, NYNC College, Chalisgarh. In this video lecture, we discuss the second shifting theorem, which is also called as second shifting property, second translation property. Okay, so what is second shifting theorem? If the Laplace transform of the f of t is f of s, capital F of s, and, and capital F of t, is defined as f of t minus a when t is greater than a and 0 when t is less than a. So the second shifting theorem concerns shifting on t axis, the replacement of t, the replacement of t as a t minus a. Okay. Then the Laplace transform of the capital F of t is e raised to minus a s into f of s. Okay. So first of all, uh, we write the definition of the Laplace transform. We know the definition, the Laplace transform of the f of t is equal to capital F of s is equal to zero to infinity e raised to minus s t into f of t with respect to T integration. Okay. Now here, here we find we find the Laplace of capital F of t. So instead of small f, we write the capital F. Now the proof. We have this given data. Yep, uh, the Laplace of f of t is f of s and f of t is defined. I am direct write the definition. The Laplace transform of capital F of t is equal to 0 to infinity e raised to minus s t into capital F of t. Okay. Here we just capital F instead of small f with respect to t. Now is equal to, now here, here this t is divided into two parts. Accordingly, we uh, write the integration as a 0 to c f. Here, uh, the actual image is is zero to infinity, zero to actual range. Sorry, actual range is zero to infinity of the definition. Now, in given data, which is divided into two parts, zero to a, okay, and a to infinity. See here, t is less than a, and t is greater than a. Okay that is 0 to a e raised to minus s t into capital F plus a to infinity e raised to minus s t into capital F with respect to t integration okay. is equal to. Now here in the range 0 to a means when t is less than a then the value of capital F, the value of capital F is 0. Okay. Plus, when A is greater than, sorry, T is greater than A, T is greater than A, then the value of capital F is small f of T minus A, dt. Now, the first term is 0, here 0 is present the value of capital F. Now in second term, we make the substitution. We put T minus A is equal to U. Substitute T minus A is equal to U. Then differential is DT is equal to DU. That is we transfer to the U. Then DT is equal to DU. Also, the limit is changed. These are the limit for the uh, t variable. Now the t is transferred to the u, the new limit for the u, when t is equal to, when t is equal to, see the lower limit, is a. Okay, then what will be the value of u? Put t is equal to a here, then a minus a is 0. Now upper limit, when t is equal to infinity, then the value of the u, 
put t equal to infinity, infinity minus a, a is number, okay? Then infinity minus a is infinity. So we get, we get the new limit for the u as a zero to infinity, e raised to, e raised to minus the value of the t, the value of the t is u plus a. And here f of u and the value of the dt is du. Now it can be written as 0 to infinity e raised to minus s is multiplied to the bracket. Bracket is u plus a in bracket. That is e raised to minus s u minus Yes, a f of u du. Now it can be written as 0 to infinity e raised to apply the uh, indices property e raised to minus s u e raised to minus s a f of u du. Now this is the integration with respect to u, okay, except u, other variable treated as a constant under the integration. Now this term is a constant. We write this term as a e raised to minus s a inside the integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus s u f of u d u. Okay. Now see the definition. In definite integration with respect to Variable is not important. So instead of u, if you substitute t here, we get the as it is term. Okay. So it can be written as the value of this integration is capital F of s. And with respect to variable is not important. Both are the same. Both are the same here. So it can be written as e raised to e raised to so, uh, instead of minus s u, we write the e raised to minus a s. Okay. Multiplication is commutative. And here the value of this integration we write simply yes. Okay, that is the Laplace transform of capital F. Okay, see the capital F is defined is equal to e raised to minus a s into capital F of s. Okay, so this is the second shifting property. Now let us discuss problem. Now the example on second shifting property. The example is find the Laplace transform of capital F of t is equal to sine function when t is greater than pi and zero when t is less than pi. Okay, see, we know the second shifting theorem, the second shifting property. If the Laplace transform of F of t is capital F of s and capital F of t, Capital F of t means what? The uh, t, instead of t, there is a t minus a and 0. Means f of t minus a when t is greater than a and 0 when t is less than a. So in which we identify the f of t minus a. So instead of f of t minus a, we write the f of t. And then we calculate the Laplace of f of t, we get f of s. Then the Laplace of the capital F is simply e raised to minus a s into f of s. It means we identify the a and we identify the f of t. Okay. Now from this example, the value of solution, the value of small f of t minus a is equal to is equal to sine of sine of two in bracket t minus pi. Okay. So here t minus a. So it can be written as see this is the t minus a. A means what? Pi. If we compare here, see it can be written as f of t is equal to sine of 2t. Now put t is equal to t is equal to t minus a, then here t minus a. So here a is equal to a is equal to and f of t is sine of 2t. So this a is nothing but the pi. Okay, once we got the f of t, 
then calculate its Laplace transform. Then Laplace transform of P of of T, that is Laplace of the sine 2T. And we know the Laplace transform of the sine function sine A T is A upon A square plus A square. So here A is two, that is two upon, two upon A square plus four is equal to capital F of S, okay? That is capital F of S is equal to two upon A square plus four. Now, uh, the requirement is capital F of S and A, Okay, now finish the then the Laplace transform of the given problem. Given problem is capital F of T is equal to simply E raised to minus A S into capital F of S by second shifting property. The theorem. Okay, that is E raised to minus the value of A is pi into f of s, f of s is two upon a square plus four. Okay. So this is the required answer of the given problem. Now, similarly, we solve the next problem. Now the uh, Laplace transform of the algebraic uh, function, polynomial function. Okay, so this is the same type t minus a and t is greater than a and zero t is less than a. So first we write the small f of t minus a, t minus a. So here t minus a, a means two here is equal to t minus two raised to three. Okay, that is simply f of t is equal to t raised to three. So here the value of a is and we know, we know that the Laplace transform of f of t, that is Laplace transform of t raised to three is equal to, is equal to, so if this is the integer, then three factorial divided by s raised to three plus one means s raised to four. Okay, so we get what? capital F of S is equal to, the three factorial means what? Three into two into one. That is six, S raised to four. Okay. Then by second shifting property, second shifting property, okay, property theorem, Laplace transform of given problem, given problem is capital F is equal to E raised to minus A S into F of S. So the value of the A is two, that is E raised to minus two S, okay, into six upon S raised to four. Okay, thank you.